Hey guys, Aviation Level 100 here, and thank you for checking out this video. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to add window edges or window frames to your videos for your flight simulator videos to make it more realistic. So, first of all, we need to actually get the video. We're going to get the window edge by either going to Google Images or going to videos on YouTube to screenshot an actual real life video with the window edge in it. For today, for example, you can see on the screen now I'm using my own video. Um, due to copyright issues and copyright protection stuff like that, make sure if you do get one from Google Images or YouTube, they have permission to do so. Um, so if you have your own av aviation videos, then that's fine. So what you want to do is obviously go to the video. You want to put to full screen to get to the part where you want the window edge here. Start playing so that the YouTube thing goes off right down there. As soon as it's off, you want to click Alt. Alt print on your keyboard and what that does it screenshots it and copies it so what you want to do now is go to your uh, Photoshop software from for today I'm going to use GIMP2 it's free I'll leave a description down below so you can download it it's a great software Photoshop so wait till this loads now All right. once it's loaded up what you want to do is paste paste which is control V and there you go it's pasted onto your Photoshop software now you want to do is come over to I'm sorry it's in Spanish here but I'll just show you where to go and where to click um, you want to right click come over here where the um, layers are you want to right click make sure that canal alpha which is here what that is in English I'm not too sure but I'm gonna show you where it is right down here you want to make sure that's on or you've got that on now you want to do is go to this over here, the third row, third third one from the left on the top row. You want to click that, and then you want to zoom in by clicking plus a few times to how you want to zoom in. Let's move this over here a bit. And you want to get to the start of the window edge, which is about here. And what you want to do is just keep clicking down, drawing a line keep clicking bit by bit, don't do a straight line otherwise it won't look too good just going all the way down right across the edge like this and then once you get to the very bottom, I want to zoom back out, oh, not that much move this back now what do you want to go round and put in the image that you want to remove so go around and in this little circle or whatever shape this is, <laughs> you want the image that you want to remove. And then what you want to do is rejoin it from the start to the, the circle that you started with. As you can see, you've got black and white little lines going, flashing around that we just, the area that we just selected. And now to remove it, you just want to rub it out. Uh, so click the rubber, double click the rubber, make the, the size of the rubber really, really big so you don't miss anything at all. That should do. Then just rub it all out. And as you can see, you're rubbing everything out but the window, or the window frame. I'll make sure that's all done now. That's it. What I'm to do is go to Files, Export As. I'm just going to call it a Window Frame, Window Edge. Export PNG, so it's high quality. I want to make sure all these are checked, every single one, so this works. And the quality is 9, the highest you can get, and export. Alright, now once that's done, you've finished here, you can go off your editing software. And what to do, you want to load uh, Sony Vegas or Adobe After Effects, whatever software you use to edit your videos and I use Sony Vegas Pro 13 as you can see here once Sony Vegas has loaded you want to first of all put in the clip or video that you want the frame to go over so I'm just going to use this clip here as an example this clip is from my video from the video from Thursday so you want to see that and check that out I appreciate it and now what we want to do is come over here to where the levels and that are you want to right click and insert video track now you want to make sure where you put the frame is above the original video so the frame appears above the video not under it so you can see it 
So now you want to find where you saved it. I saved it in Documents, Window Edge, Window Frame, that was it. Window Frame. And just adjust it so it fits the video. And as you can see, over here, the frame is over the video. And if you want to, let's just make this a bit more realistic. And to zoom in a bit like that, for example. If it doesn't fit right, you can adjust this as well by zooming in a bit or zooming out. Also, you can flip it by right clicking it and flip horizontal to flip it to the other side, like that. So, there you go. That's how you had add a window frame or window edge to your flight simulation videos if you want to upload them to YouTube to make it more realistic. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't understand anything or are not too sure about anything, leave a comment below and I'll reply to you. Again, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more FSX videos. I upload about two, three videos a week now. And I'll see you guys next time.